Hello and welcome back to week two of Super Happy Havoc. Got some free time, so actually why do I bother leaving the room? Because I'm just gonna navigate by the map to not go somewhere. So she didn't appreciate the last uh, gift I got her. I said, I'm determined to max out her affection and just see what the hell happens. Because I feel like I might get an actual thing to spend my SP points on on a max out her affection. She was around here, but she's not here. I know she's in this corridor somewhere, but I don't know where. There she is. Okay. The opposite of possible isn't in but yeah, I know, I've heard that before. Uh, yeah, let's spend some time with it. <laughs> Although, no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. We we'll walked aimlessly around the school. Grew a little closer today. Mm, sure, I could suck it. No. No. Oh, screw it, I'm just gonna give her the bunny earmuffs. Whoa, what is this? It's super cute. <laughs> For real? You sure I can have this? I get the impression she liked it. That's good. <sighs> so hungry. P please! Makoto, help me! I'm hungry! What am I supposed to do? <sighs> I need food, anything! I don't care if it's a stack of paper, I need food! I think I just eat some more donuts. Just a second! I can't! That's my secret weapon, for emergencies only! If I kept gorging myself on something with that many calories, I'd get fat in no time! So she even she cares about that thing. But she's an addict. But Besides, I don't want anything sugary. Right now I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Hmm. Like ramen. How is that a snack? You got it all wrong! How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favourite kind of ramen? Uh shoyu, without a doubt. You got it! Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and all, so okay. I'm a pork tastic tonkatsu girl through and through. So you don't care about calories at all. <laughs> Key element of any tonkatsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. So you're okay with all that oil? Ah, <sighs> uh, talking about it just made me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. You sure though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. What is this? Who says stuff like that? You're a real man, or ain't you? What? You afraid? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still Hina? Just a second! Shut up! Get out of my way! I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like! Or you're gonna stand in my way and suffer the fist-based consequences! I have no intention of getting in your way! Okay. Then don't! If I don't do this now, when am I gonna get, give it another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off with a dangerous clip towards the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. Hina's port card has been updated based on your experience with her. Ooh, just get unlocked extraordinary focus. Fabulous. I learned my lesson and made my way back to my room. Right, that feels like I've maxed out uh, what I can get with her, so still have some time. Gonna go into Yoldi with the card. So Okay, so, we've gained Extraordinary Focus, which sounds useful, I presume. Okay, so I have some time. I feel like I'm wasting my time sitting here. I should go look around. Alright then, most people seem to just be around. Yeah, it's still there. To our resident, slightly creepy person. Hey, Kyoko. Just a second. What's the matter? Why are you bouncing around like a little rabbit? <laughs> Don't you have anything to do? Certainly. No reason to decline. And I'm not the type I... of decline anyway. Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. Grow a little closer today. Uh, yes, I shall give her a present. Now, what would. Yoko like I wonder. Coffee doesn't seem right for her. Hmm. 
I'm just thinking through what I've got. Actually, no, maybe she... Maybe she'd like the coffee. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. Excellent, she likes the coffee. Quiet as ever. Guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, yum, Kyoko. And? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There is no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like we're gonna get out of here. We need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Hmm? You could certainly make the argument for forming friendships that may help prevent killing. So... But are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? Because... You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so that you gather information. No, no, that that's not... Why? Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A test? That's right. If you're as gung-ho on French as you claim, this should be an easy question. Okay, so I just have to answer your questions, is that so it? So then... Are you ready? Concerns Hina, one of your friends, yes? And? That's true, what's her ultimate ability? Well, that's an easy one, she's the ultimate swimmer. The ultimate nice body. <laughs> Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well asked and answered. It would seem... And your pleas of camaraderie are true. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. So then... Okay then, as promised. What would you like to know about me? Um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here... I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program or did your parents work overseas or something? My parents... I suppose. Why all the question marks? Okay, so she was living abroad because of her dad's job. What kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? All question marks. Okay, so does he... Does top secret work for other governments? All I can think of is assassin. Whew. I kept up my end of the deal. Goodbye. This should be enough for our time leaving now. She left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. Hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Bonus skill point. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a while. Night time, I know. Hmm. <coughs> As such, soon the doors to the okay. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Sweet. Now we get another one of his creepy uh, things. <sighs> Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating, Once so... Again, happy new day! I was less psychotic than usual. Good morning, ever get ready to greet... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, you annoying teddy bear! Oh, stretch. I better get to the dining hall. Bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Oh! Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um. You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that... that virgin! I might catch his virginity! But... Ah, my guess is you're already infected. <laughs> Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar, let's eat breakfast. Well, as I like pointing out, there is absolutely no biological difference between a virgin and a non-virgin. It's purely arbitrary, so you can't actually lose it. Because it doesn't exist. Sorry. So to any country where you have virginity tests on women, you are sexually assaulting them and it's completely pointless. You assholes. But as soon as my hands approach my food... <laughs> hey Jill. Oh! That voice. 
The doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> nice to see you. So in the end... It's you, Genocide Jack. And... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> I'm wearing red lingerie today. Huh? I don't think anyone wanted to know. Huh? Hold on a sec, you... Huh? huh? Mm. What's Have your you top power level like? Age? 35, 22, 33? You start up big on top and you try to look thinner down south? You look at your melons! They're seriously gargantuan. You dunk them in milk every night or something. Ooh. You're starting to freak me out. No forgiveness! If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. <sighs> so, what do you want? Surely you're not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? Mm. Because of certain circumstances. <sighs> Up until now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. It's all clear now. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? That, that's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. Nothing else. Tell me what's going on with Taka. I saw him yesterday. I happened to notice something seemed... off. So I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting. Such ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? Give us all that amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. And I will grant you de grant your desire and remove myself. Mm, yes. yes! Let's get out of here! Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard to get, mister. You can just play hard. Hm. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it, it makes sense. Yep. Assuming she's kinky as hell. Ryuka started slowly backing out of the room. He started picking up speed and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. Plus, keep in mind, she likes to stab people to death and stabbing is usually considered... You know, in, in the murderer tableau, stabbing is usually considered the substitute for, uh, you know, sex. I'm not even kidding. Th this is an actual thing. He ran away? So now he's running hard to get, I see. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Um... So at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um... Just now, Beer Cool was like, um, maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different, or getting flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and then went back to our rooms. What to do today? Now let's go talk to Kyoko again. Because it makes sense to me to... Because I'm assuming Hina's maxed out now, right? And then I've now got... Um, she's that close on walk. Now, given that I've now got her, uh, who's more what's it? Given that I've now got her uh, skill, makes sense to me that that would be you know, the final one. Why? Who set all this up? Why did they choose us? There are so many mysteries. Yeah, let's spend some time well. with that. Well... A little close today... Yes. 
I'm still leaning towards her being a spy or an assassin or something like that, so... Just for the hell of it, let's give her the golden gun, see how she reacts. Hmm. I actually feel pleased. How strange. I get the impression that she liked it, and that's good. Oh, Kyoko. How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? What? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. Never show any emotion. <laughs> you said that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. N no, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Hey. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself. Don't show it in my face or in my voice. Make it sound way easier than it is, especially in these kinds of circumstances. That's what we have to do. Well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. You keep saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Is there anything I can say to get a reaction out of her? In other words, protect yourself against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. And whoever stands before you, don't let them push you around. Correct. Remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings. But... That's such a... a waste. What? Mm -hmm. Your smile is... It's just so cute. Hiding behind that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is way better. That's... What? What are you talking about? What? Cute. It's much too soon to be bringing up things like that. Looks like I got you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? What? You, Makoto, you. Can't be. You deceived me. Huh, oh, wait. Why? I don't believe this. To use the word cute to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. S sorry, I just got carried away. But still, I did deceive you. It's not like it was a lie. <sighs> you see how easily you yourself are deceived. Huh? Hey. You would never have come out and just called someone cute like that, completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy? You mean... I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked? <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest to a fault. And with that, she was gone. The most formidable opponent. Ooh, Neural Liberation. That sounds promising. With Kyoko gone, I slowly made my way back to my room. Still have some time. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Hina again just to see if there is another mm -hmm. thing I can unlock. There may or may not be. I genuinely don't know. Or should I stop? Actually, I'm gonna start talking to Jill because I think I think talking to uh, Genocide Jill is gonna be interesting. What can I say? Serial killers interest me. I don't give a toot about you. Oh, Where'd Master go? Tell me or I'll kill you. Yes, let's spend some time with her. Alright, you can help me track down Master. Inside Jack and I chased after Bianca for a while. Can I just get a little closer to, to Genocide Jack? Okay. Now, what would... I have no idea what the hell a serial killer would like. Something murder related, I would presume, but... T-shirt, maybe? <laughs> A present out of nowhere! <laughs> I'm getting to go flustered! Get the impression she liked it. That's good. There's something by the door. Be a note. It's a piece of paper. Looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meat in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. 
Who would want to meet up so suddenly? Who wrote it? Why? What's the point of calling me out like this? Kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out. So we've gained two additional skills, which should be useful in the next uh, court trial. Court trial? Class trial. Court trial's kind of redundant. Yo! Yo, Makoto. Hero. In the letter I found in my room. You know? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Mm. Well, I was always taught that if you have bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Mm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually... I'm just an errand boy in this. Mm. Anyway, what do you say to a little late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I... I was totally lost. But Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close and whispered into my ear. You're serious? It's all an act so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting at the bathhouse. What? Then, did Alter Ego finish his search? You got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. That's probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you! Hey you! How long are you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stated, said pointlessly as his wrist yeah. It's almost ten o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Shut up! What? What do you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. Yeah. What? You got a loop, lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? <laughs> How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven sent master. Oh. Hmm. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> sh sh shut up. Hey, come on. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Hey. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's got to have something to do with Alter Ego, That's right? That's right! Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? I should probably ask Kyoko what's going on before anything else. Okay, I'm just going to talk to Alter Ego directly. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego. The laptop has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh, um... What's, she, she's gone? You. you can't be fudged serious. What did you do with him? Mm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But but, but if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him! Without a doubt! Mr. Ishimura, you stole her, didn't you? What? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. <sighs> I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you! You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation! Wait, I mean it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Yeah! Wrong. It's you. For serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way that either one of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? What? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But... Then... Then who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, and quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? <laughs> How about this for a reason? <laughs> there is a traitor amongst us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the Mastermind. A spy. 
and that's the one who stole Alter Ego. But c can you possibly... can you deny the possibility? It... it, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now there may be a spy amongst us. The Mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the Mastermind? A traitor? No, no, it's impossible. Something like... something that horrible. Th there's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silence by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? See what? I don't care! <laughs> I don't care who... Someone, anyone, save her! Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it! Same here. How many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up, but... I still kind of get how they feel. At the very least... I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe. For the moment, at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they would have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise, as a man. I swear, I, I will save her! Using the power of love! Friggin' marvelous. They're all nuts. <coughs> As such, soon yes. the doors to the dining Okay then, sweet. Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to it be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you're too tired? You'll be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Calm down. Everything we do at night brings a higher chance of the Mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I... I agree with you. We've run around tonight in a panic. The Mastermind is sure to notice. We won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi... I know how you feel right now, but... It's best if... Just for tonight. You can try and endure it. <laughs> This is fine. Okay then, let us part for today. We'll begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. Hmm. And you should think about what I said. Someone may well be spying for the Mastermind. Alter Ego. Gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us. We couldn't even put up a fight. We'd given her hope. And when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the mastermind is doing to us. <laughs> and could it really be true? Could whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? But if that's true... No, no it can't be, there's no way! I didn't even realise I'd yelled that out loud. And the scary thing is the idea of someone spying on us. But what's scary is, we're starting to doubt each other again. And that scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts, and before long I fell into a restless sleep. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, and place, and society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Well, one death is a tragedy, a million is a statistic. Everyone knows that. Good morning, everybody. Get ready to... Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. First things first, to the dining hall. That, to me, is an excellent point to end this part. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.